Um, so today um, we're continuing with um, my notes for life science and cell biology in a nutshell. So um, we have reached the section of, um, uh, well, we're learning about genetic material and DNA. And um, we went over uh, transcription, um, which is the, um, uh, when the DNA is, um, DNA is turned into RNA, which is called mRNA, messenger RNA. And mRNA, um, oh, the molecule leaves the nucleus, goes to the ribosome in the, in the cytoplasm, and is translated to um, proteins with the help of transfer RNA molecules or tRNA molecules. So we did go over all this. So um, in the previous video, so again, RNA is ribonucleic acid. It's used to transmit codes from the DNA. So the um, whatever genes are on the DNA. From codons, codons are a set of three base pairs, so it's in increments of three. Um, codons provide the in instructions for creating an amino acid, um, which is a building block of proteins. Well, well, what really happens is. Um, well, in this diagram, it's showing how translation works. So, um, the amino acids um, are, are not are, are are carried by tRNA molecules. So each codon um, is each codon. Basically, it's it stands for a different amino acid. So depending on the codon or the set of three base pairs, that's what determines the amino acid that's gonna go in your polypeptide chain. So um, then uh, when you have the sequence of amino acids, this is called a protein. Sorry for that confusion. So you're, you're just, um, it's just a code basically. The code um, of the mRNA um, codes for different um, proteins depending on its sequence. <clears throat> so you're creating an amino acid chain, which is also called a protein. And um, in the diagram, you, you we're showing this uh, amino. So tRNA synthesis attaches amino acids to their corresponding tRNA molecules. Amino acid. So, um, and energy from ATP is used. Each amino acid has its own tRNA molecule with the anticodon for that amino acid. So that's the anticodon right here, which binds to the codon on the mRNA molecule. So the tRNA, once the amino acid is um, placed on the um, placed onto the sequence, it breaks off. It picks up another amino acid. So it just keeps doing that. By peptide bonds um, formed between the amino acids, you have the chain of 
polypeptides that are formed. And the ribosome, uh, this is the large site ribosomal unit. This is a smaller one. That, that's, um, this is where the uh, synthesis is occurring. Once done, the ribosome releases the peptide, polypeptide chain. So this is called an ester bond between amino acid and the tRNA molecule. Here we have another diagram showing the ribosome. And this is a larger subunit of the ribosome. This is a smaller, the mRNA chain. And the peptide, polypeptide being formed and the tRNA molecules bringing amino acids so this is called translation of mRNA uh, after the mRNA is transcribed off the DNA sequence and it comes out to the cytoplasm Proteins have a variety of functions. They are chains of amino acids. The entire genetic code of the human genome has been decoded. Individual genes for various genetic phenotypes or predispositions have been identified. A proprotein is an inactive protein containing one or more inhibitory protein peptides that can be activated when the inhibitory sequence is removed by prote proteolysis during post-translational modification. A preprotein is a form that contains um, a signal sequence or an N-terminal signal peptide that specifies its insertion into or through membranes i.e. targets, in other words, targets the protein for secretion to specific locations. The signal peptide is cleaved off in the endoplasmic reticulum. Preproteins have both sequences, inhibitory and signal um, sequences still present. Um... During or following biosynthesis, proteolysis, post-translational modification, and protein um, synthesis, folding occurs. Um, proteolysis removes N-terminal, C-terminal, internal amino acid residues or peptides from polypeptides. Um, this may be done as a modification step. The termini and side um, chains of the polypeptide may be subjected to post-translation modification in various ways. They may um, be required for correct cellular localization or the natural function of the protein. During and after synthesis, polypeptide chains often fold to assume or a so-called native, secondary, or tertiary structure. This is known as protein folding, typically required for natural function of protein. Okay, so this is how proteins are processed. Um, so they may have as different various points of the of the um, um, of the cell's life or of the of the sequence of events, um, depending on what proteins are needed for the cell. Um, the proteins. Under, may undergo different um, things, different um, activation, deactivation, modification, etc. And be localized in different parts of the cell in order to serve their purpose for whatever they're needed. Genetic engineering is when DNA of one organism is introduced into another organism. This is used, this is 